everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our exclusive youtube let's play walking dead series we are picking up where we left off with season two episode four of the walking dead where we just escaped the compound where we were being held as prisoners by bill carver and now we are on our own let's see where we go from here in chapter four amid the ruins this is kind of creepy off to a great start <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great day wherever you're at. Because I can assure you, it's only going to go up from here. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. Yep. <laughs> Fucker. Oh, they're going to show the whole Kenny, thing again. Kenny! Oh, they're going to show the whole when thing again. you cover again. yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. Holy heck. I can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. Yeah, I didn't want to watch go. that. Nothing personal. I've just seen enough. And I'm sure we're going to see much more guts and gore in the show, so. That's not the Kenny I know in there. Mm. I thought I could save him. And then she gets bit. And Sarah ah! runs away. I mean, I decided to chop the arm off. If she's still infected, then we kill her. But at least she stands a chance, right? Better than none. Come! Ah! Oh. Also, of course, I have my coffee as usual. So cheers to everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Oh. You're not alone. You have us, Kenny. We're, we're gonna get out of this. Kenny! I don't care what these fuckers are saying. You're gonna be fine. She's already dead. You have to leave her. I'm sorry. I love you. Holy Kenny. crap. Damn it, man. Come on! No right, honey. No fucking right! No fucking right doing what? I've always been on your team, Kenny. Oh my god, my cat was like moving. I'm so sorry. Hold on, y'all. You do not climb up there. Loki. Loki. We got killed. We got killed by walkers, baby. And what do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself, you big baby? Why are you climbing all over my keyboard, huh? What is your paw doing all slumped? What do you have to say? Nothing. You're just gonna close your eyes like a little big, big baby? Oh, uh-huh. You're innocent? I wasn't doing nothing, mama. You big furball. Okay, come on. Down you go. Go sleep with her sister. She's up there on the on the house. Go up there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's a realistic environment, everyone. I'm going after Sarah. Oh Lord. 
Clam, go. Why would I say anything? I'm surrounded by zombies. Yeah, you gotta keep moving. You can't just sit there like ducks. Not now. I'm glad you're here. We can watch each other's back. Are you okay to keep moving? Go all the way up. Just keep going. Jeez. We can go your back to the trees. Maybe they're sitting out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? There. Go, go, go. That's what she said the first time. I can't do this. You have to help us. <laughs> help us how? We can't clump together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. Just keep moving, girl. Go. No, you don't understand. Just help us. You think we should spread out? We'll spread out. Yes. I can't run with the baby on my own. I said walk slow. You run? You die. Just go. Go! Oh my gosh. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. We'll make so a stress catcher. Okay. Just we should run for do. it. Was that an actual answer? There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side. I need you to get her attention. Cow catcher? Push. That'll do it. Holy Stay God! Close. If you fall behind, this woman's I can't insane. Holy heck! I don't know anything about cow catching, but this woman's a legend. I'm literally trying to keep up. I have not slowed. Holy heck. Let's go. Oh, what a way to start off the episode. Oh my gosh, that was the expose. That was the introduction. What the heck, y'all? Huh? What was the introduction? Are you okay? Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny, 
God damn it. What if they aren't there? God, that gash looks pretty bad. If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. I mean... Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. Mm -hmm. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. Oh my gosh. She's gonna give birth? And it's gonna be scary. I know I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out. But maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't you know. You couldn't have done anything Things else. saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, Things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. Yeah. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... <sighs> I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Oh my gosh. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. She was just held hostage by the potential baby father. She Alvin was supposed to be here. Yeah, for this. lost her husband. Is Alvin? He's dead, is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything about? No. Childbirth. I don't. She's been through a lot. Hmm. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Question. I don't even know if I should ask this question because I don't know how fucked up of a... It's pretty fucked up of a question, but it came to mind and I... I am who I am. It, nope. I'm not going to ask the question. Nope. Just making conversation. Nope. There We're going to keep nothing. moving forward. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Yeah. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. Birds and the bees. That's what you happens. You assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, All right. I've seen it before. Back when it started... Me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. Jeez. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Was Jane the, the girl that played music? Was I right last episode? I don't remember the name of the characters. It might have been Shit, her. Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it! Right? Jane. I'm Googling it now. Jane. 400 days. Jane. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. That's Rebecca scary. might have the baby soon. She needs someplace safe to to do that. <sighs> oh no. Soon? Soon? Yeah. That's what it seems like. This memorial works fine as a meeting spot. No way we can stay here long term. I told you. That's why we're waiting. And as soon as everyone else gets here, we'll figure something out. You wanted to leave without us? What? No. I wanted to go out and try to find everyone. Well, what does Kenny want to do? Hmm. Kenny is going through. I tried through. to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. Some heartache. Started yelling. Scary shit. Again. I know he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. He lost his eye and his woman and everything he knew again. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? 
You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... He's not thinking straight. We need to figure out what to do. We need Kenny's help. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to I love me. how Clem is just like the adult of the group. They always want me to do everything because I'm the most capable, even though I'm the youngest. Okay. Maybe not the most capable. They see me as their equal, basically, in decision making and stuff. But it is just funny because I am literally a little girl in game. Like, Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. No, 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 none of that, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Oh, my God. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. We need your help to figure out a Grow plan. The fuck up and look around you, Clementine. Take a look at how our last plan worked out. There ain't some boat or some train or some other bullshit out of this one. Don't you think you've already done enough for today? He doesn't mean it. I did what I thought was right. It was all I could do. All you could do? Because of you, Sarita is dead. And you're telling me you did all you could do. Yeah. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. None of them are gonna help? I mean, I guess I don't I'm know what they would do. I'm just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem. Oh. It went great. How do you think it went? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's a rat. Especially with that baby on the way. At least you tried. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. So now what? When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Yeah. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have. And I don't think a war monument or wherever they are is a good place to do it. Like, I know we just got here and she's tired, but like, this is not the place to settle down. Have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. That's my opinion. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. Unless she starts popping right now. Which we saw a preview of her doing it here, so... Now that she can help it, I don't know how childbirth works, but I'm pretty sure you can't just, like, suck it up. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. I... Come on, Clem. Oh my goodness. I'm, like, fully leaned back and slouched. Sitting like a shrimp. <laughs> hey sit up why'd she look at it weird there we go now i'm fully in the picture i was like looking at myself in the camera and i'm like big chillin look <laughs> i'm gonna level with you there's no real point in scouting ahead and you should know that finding your friends that's a shot in the dark i don't know about that we shouldn't give up before we've even looked okay but i wanted to talk to you away from them okay you wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart but i still i just gotta warn you hey okay. that group is cracking i've seen it before and well 
A lot of times, it's better to be on your own. Hmm. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. Dog. And Wild when something dog. something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. I mean, I've seen it and before. Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. I mean... And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. Ooh. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. How would you prevent that? Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. This looks like the car from season one with the crazy guy and the supplies. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. But I know we're way My far from Jamie there, had so. A good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. You say my sister Jamie? Janie? I was... What happened? What... What happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end, don't we? I mean, yeah? You know, being a big sister is... Well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys. Make fun of her bad haircut. Give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no, it's not all bad. I mean, I never did that but with my sister. What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> what? Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. I've never, not that I'm a non-emotional person, because you guys know by now if you've made it here that I cry a lot, <laughs> and I have a lot of emotions, but like, I've never thought of my sibling that way. I've never thought of my sister as like, that I thought about her as a nuisance a little bit when we were younger and I didn't want to babysit her or something, but, like, I never bullied the shit out of her or, like, pretend we were just friends and not sisters. Like, I've never not wanted to associate her with this. I don't know. That's a weird concept to me, but everyone has their own family lives. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. Oi. Double tap. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. Let's yeah, search. We should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. Hmm. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. That makes sense. They might have useful stuff. Makes sense. Do I have to search him? Oh, right as I sip my coffee. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. All right, all right. The booty. Some bullets. Hold on to them. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. All right. Other booty. Hmm. Find anything? Memories of who they were. Nothing we can use, right? Hmm. I guess they would be useful, in a way. To him, at least. What was on the jacket? I saw another... Smart haircut. Thanks. <sighs> so, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? I've been through a lot of crews. You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. 
I don't know what it was like before I got there. It has only been a little while. But Kenny was different. I know that. Hmm. That's it. A nail oh. file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Jeez. She has a lot of trauma with her sister. She talks about her a lot. For someone I pretty much just la uh, just met. I can never be too sure with these things. Holy Here, heck. Give me a hand. All right. Is it going to be someone I know? Oh, it's Sarah's glasses. These glasses. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. She could just be blind. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah, off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Is it Luke? Looks like there's an opening over there. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got this chat, everyone. Hang tight. Oh, no. Nick! Oh, oh shit. Nick. Oh, man. My heart. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. Oh, okay. Whatever that means. I'm sorry, Nick. Holy shit. <laughs> Ay. God, that flap of... Brain. Ay. 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 Don't people, like, eat brains? Isn't it it's a traditional right. food? It's done. In certain parts of the world, if definitely not these it, brains. I'm sure they or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. I'm sure they season it a little better. No hesitation. You know that, right? I, I do. Know. I know. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. You just want me to stab people's brains? I can do this. Okay, I guess. Crazy. You crazy woman. Okay, just, just calm down. They don't sound too good. Oh yeah, her dad just Clock's died. I forgot ticking. about that already. I've repressed it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. Jeez. We can't stay here. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Okay. Go for it. Let's go. We got this chat. Buckle in, everybody. Where's the stabby stab? Right in the head. Come on. There we go. Nice Jesus. work. Jesus. You know what you're doing. <sighs> now watch this. Not like this. Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. <laughs> Kick him in the knees? Take out the knees first. Wow! Put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Dang. All right. Let's I get mean, a look at what we've got on deck. It's not a bad suggestion. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's gonna take some work to get over there. They are just humans that are dead, after all. Oh my God. There's too many. We're not getting in while they're still hanging out over there. Maybe we can get them to move. Make some noise. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Yeah, let's go. Maybe Blair the car horn? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Distract them a bit? Oh, shit. Come on, Clem, you got this. <laughs> Why? 
We lost a lot of people in that. Back of the head. Boom. No. You did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. God damn. <sighs> That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? Sound. People. People. And sound. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers <laughs> over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you okay. think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I Let's go. Along. If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? Car horn. Come on. I got you covered. Bang on barricade. No, 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 sweet girl. We need to bonk the horn. Let's go. Jeez. Keys? Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Why would the keys be in the back of the truck? Okay, just, just calm down. Jeez, can I put like a weight on it? Search inside truck. Glove box? No, don't walk away. Keep looking. Ignition. We are mm. gonna die in here. Damn it, don't do this. Okay. Let's find a way to keep it on. I'm trying. We need the keys. Sarah, what the hell? Bang on barricade. Is he gonna have the key? Any of these guys? What are you thinking? No, oh, or the weight? Dad. If we lean him on the yeah. wall, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Mm -hmm. Just like moths to a flame. Yeah, there we go. Give me a hand. Get back. There we go. <laughs> Big brain, everybody. <laughs> Brain is just so large right now. <laughs> ah. It's working. Come on. We're gonna get up and go. The knees. There we go. Come on. Jesus, what was that? Guy Fieri? Oh, crap. We gotta move it. Go, 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 go. Go. It's locked. Then try something else. The window? You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Yell, maybe? <clears throat> Hurry! Holy crap. Go, go, go. And barricade the door. Help me block this. Hurry! Jesus. Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him. You know. Aww. Fuck. Fuck. Aww. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would've left already, but I... I got Sarah here, and... Kill her. I mean, what? I, I don't know what to do about her. Kill her. What's the matter? You gotta help. <sighs> She'll be happy to see Sarah, me. Look, look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're okay. 
Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Distraught. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Shocked? I snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. Jeez. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... Well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for Killer. Just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Maybe. Listen. Because I'm her I, friend uh, or something. They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Come on, Sarah. God. Sarah, it's me. Hi. No! <laughs> okay. Shit. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst. Yeah, I lost in the Lee. World. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. Oh. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Oh, man. My eyes teared up a little. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you. Jesus. Oh, oh. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke! Get over here! Help me hold this! With his ribs? Homie's broken, man. Clem, see what you can find. Okay. Can we use this? It's not big enough. But there was a bookshelf. The fridge. Forget it. That yeah, thing no. ain't budging. Find there was a bookshelf. Else. The furniture? Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. The bookshelf, bro, in the okay. other room. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! What? Okay, go, go! Keep pushing! Go! Oh my god, not Jane, please. I actually liked her. Holy crap. Come on, come on, Jane, come on. Please, dear god. There's a bookshelf. Luke, you first. We need you up top. See, there's a bookshelf right there. Okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If well, she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. I can't! I can't! I can't! Daddy! I'm... Snap out of it, Sarah! Please! You We're gonna get Jamie her, killed? We have to go! Huh, Jamie? What's her name? I already Believe forgot me. it. I know what about this. Hurry up! Idiot! Clementine! Grab her! 
Am I gonna get her killed? I'm gonna get her killed, aren't I? She's gonna be the last one left and she's gonna die for saving us. Fuck! Hurry up! Oh, thank God. We gotta go. Oh my God, y'all. I almost had a heart attack. Come on. There's no way that they were both gonna live. God, Clementine is such a badass. She like had to slap this other little girl to wake up and snap out of it. I am so proud of Clementine. Uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. Mm. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. Unless she grows up fast, which is what happened in there. Possible. When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just, I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around. Is this how her sister time. died? She was weak? Sorry, I, I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Yep. Trust me. She's kind of lost. Unless she like somehow snaps out Jamie of it. Jamie too. But she yep. gave up. Mm hmm I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. About his brother. Oh, my... Well, I can't forget it. <sighs> I dragged my sister my across heart. four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Jeez. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? I don't want to say anything to that. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. Yeah. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. I mean, they're not the same people. People can change. Especially since this chick is, like, tiny. She's a baby. She's just a baby. <laughs> Anywhere to stay safe? Nope. Sorry. Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> if it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? She's great. That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. Mm. I'm just glad you're here. Wait, wait. Where's Nick? Uh, Rebecca, how about we uh we go for a walk for a minute? Oh my god. Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Is she giving birth? Or is it gonna be about to sugarcoat this? That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting yep. on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke 
know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. Why is she asking our Luke about babies? Mangy. Could help. Just kidding. Kind of. Where is he? Oh. He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by I himself. I hope he's not dead. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. Yeah. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. Mm. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> it's true. He does know me well. Hmm. Is it going to give me other options, or do I just have to approach the tent? It's just for approach the tent. I'm scared, guys. Is he going to be dead? Press and hold the last one to grab the tent flap and then move the keys. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. Oh, Kenny's not in a good place. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. Mm. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Water broke? We should see what's going on. Jesus. Are you okay? How does it feel? Great. It feels wet. That's how it feels. <laughs> What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Is that normal? Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? I mean, it's like a natural thing, so you just Kenny, lay her down. Oh, God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right. All right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's yes. Right. She's giving birth. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Yeah, because there's gonna be blood. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't like the thought of that. The museum seems like it could be a good start. Okay. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah. Oh, just God. stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. 
Sorry for like a lot of oh my gods this episode. I think, I don't know if I do that all of the time, but this entire episode has just been me going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't really have anything like <laughs> with more sustenance, substance to say than that because it's just, I don't, I don't know. So I don't know. I felt like I should apologize. <laughs> I don't have anything useful to bring to the table during this. I just am hating on Sarah, kind of, and absorbing all of the knowledge. I don't have anything to say. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. Why would we... That? Why can't she just go? Why does she have to you know, stay with us? she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. I mean, so what if she leaves? Why would we care? No, I mean, like, we care because we need help, but... Okay. We're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. I want to check on Sarah. Mm, hell no. Nah. Right? I'll go Maybe with... Maybe I should go with Jane. Yep. Better hurry and catch up, then. Yep. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, <laughs> and let's be careful. Yeah, we got this. Museum. Jane. We got this. Having a baby is just, this is like the worst case scenario. Heckin' zombie apocalypse. You have to give birth. Which means you're gonna have a lot of blood. There's gonna be a lot of screaming. Aww. She's probably having a tough day remembering her sister all this oh, much. Hey. You okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. Yeah, a lot and of memories. I don't know if. Well. It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. Aww. I like the height. You're giving birth to a child that is going to be screaming. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. <laughs> And that child is not just going to be screaming at birth. The thing is going to be screaming we're looking for. for the next, like, five to ten years. I'm not a babyologist, but they don't just stop screaming. I guess you could teach it to be quiet. You know, kids are malleable, so you could teach it from the age of, like, four, I guess, when it can retain things, or, like, three or four. It just... Silence. But. God knows we could use a break. How do you find time for schooling? I guess if you find, like, a safe space to settle down, you could actually, like, try to teach it some things. How to read and write and... Check this out. A skate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Yeah. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe this will work. Ah, oh, the nail file. The nice. Nail file. Versatility is not overrated. Hmm. Smart. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Like a mm, screwdriver type deal. Find anything? No, not even trash. Civil War. I mean, we started in Georgia. And I've just been waking our way through the south and then up. A lot of history. Why is she doing that? Hmm. <laughs> 
You have to find quarters again? Yes, it's broken. No. Oh. Remember that one time we had to find quarters in the town and it took me like forever? Ow! Shit! Did it you break? Okay? Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. In the cannon? Is there gonna be like a pin? Firing pin or something? You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Hmm. Another one? There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Limping. You guys see that? Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Unless he's not gone, this is just where he lives and he keeps the lock on it. So he doesn't have weirdos like us. What the? Is he just gonna keep doing that? Shit! Подожди, подожди. Russian? Okay, everybody. Here is where things get interesting because I speak Russian fluently. Подожди, подожди means wait, wait. Up till now, I was just reacting, but now I can interact. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Russians? Do you understand me? Yes. Why are there Russians here? I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Arvo. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Little girl. Uh, uh, little girl. Malinka okay. Devochka. I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. Okay. I am not going. Huh? Back up. Put the bag down. Holy heck. Arvo. Clem. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. You gonna kick me? No, I have no more guns. I swear. Anything? Oxy. Wow. That's a serious stash of meds. For his leg? No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. Oh. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it. I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine? You are vori hey, banditi. We've got people who are... banditi means thieves and bandits. Suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that are stuff. Suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes. You must we don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. 
I was always taught to return things that aren't mine. I know you guys are probably not yelling. Taking... I'm not robbing anybody. Just let you guys go. are probably yelling at me through the screen. Oh, Bozhe. Thank you, Clementine. Oh, Bozhe. Oh, my Thank God. You. <laughs> no, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, what is your problem? Just be walking away. Go. Sports ball. Jesus. I mean, I know what her problem Can't is. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Then just leave. Threatening some stupid kid. I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Why? Go get the others. She's just going to get some this trauma. place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. She's not having a good day. Is he still here? No. Gee, Waylickers, man. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? Yeah. I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. People, I'm I think. I'm still not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us, but she's cold. Exactly. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But... When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. I don't want to say anything to that. Sorry. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. I don't know how strong or weak Kenny is. Like, he has really been through a lot, and he is broken, but I don't know what that necessarily means in today's world with the zombies. Like, is he broken, broken past the point of anything? Like, I think he might be, but that's not fair to him. I'm it's not, not his fault. I'm not yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. That's true. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Hopefully. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. Jeez. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. Mm -hmm. I know it's a waste of time. But I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. He died. 
How am I ever gonna do this without him? Alvin told me that he thinks the, the girlfriend died. Girl. Oh yeah? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. The doctor died. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. Mm. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Uh, uh oh shit. I never said I, I was sticking this. around. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. I mean, we don't trust them because they were the ones that were still with the gang. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Let's go. I don't necessarily trust them. They stuck with the herd. Bonnie has proven to be a little bit more useful than we thought. And then Mike hasn't really given us a reason not to trust him, but... And, like, I guess how could they escape? It was just... Oh, there's Sarah. 1.2 miles. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Clem. It's kind of poetic that this entire scene is set in like a Civil War era monument slash museum slash historic area. And like, just thinking about it and how much diversity is both in real life and in this game and how they're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. And at that point, like people... <laughs> Not that it, the zombie apocalypse is what it takes for people to finally get along, but it's like they're at a Civil War site. And... Like, the, none of those differences or... None of that hatred is, like, separating people anymore because there's a zombie apocalypse. At least I'd hope not. You never know, but... I don't know, it's kind of, kind of poetic in a way. Pretty sad, but... I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. Yeah. She's trying to get the place we found ready for Rebecca. Well, that's good. Why does everyone say she... Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. She doesn't leave? want to go back empty-handed. Yeah. I, I just want to help. Why does everyone keep saying she's gonna leave? Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Empty. Hmm. What's up, man? You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out? I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Hmm. Can they not get into, like, this ticket booth thing? There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you step. Hmm. The entire Civil War was fought on hatred and rights, and then... Souvenirs, huh? <laughs> Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. <laughs> now it's just zombies, man. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah. They're just for show. Be handy, though. Also, really loud. Good point. True. There was something else I could look at over here. Gatling gun, cannons, boom. Would be loaded. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Yeah. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. Better than nothing. Clem found a jacket. 
that's great. But uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, mm -hmm. we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. Yeah. Hmm. Lee would have loved this place. Yeah, he was a big history buff. Aw. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. All right. War medals. Oh, now we can finally go over here. Hmm. Can I check this first? We're not going to search it. Oh, I was sitting on my headphones. Water? Over here. Water. Bottled Ooh. and clean. That's just what we need. Everyone needs that right now. It's locked. Mm -hmm. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Can they hold the thing yeah, up while I crawl maybe. through? You know, if somebody was small enough, I huh. could maybe squeeze through that gap there. Yep. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right. All right. All right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <laughs> Clementine's face. She's like, why do I always have to do this shit? <sighs> I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from... Can y'all not open the door? Bare hand tackle. Well, that happened. Oh, Lord. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to no. be, but you're tough for your size. Shit, you're tough for my size. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked you. I won't do it again. At least now we got something to bring back. <laughs> I'll keep checking the other room. At least now Let's we got something water. to bring back. All right. Wait, you're gonna make me carry this thing? Couldn't I look at the back room? Hey, I got this. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That looks pretty heavy. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We'll make a plan. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Just leave Come the water on. there? Stick close. Mm. <gasps> I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. A trash panda! You can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like... I mean, just, just that I'd be really <laughs> happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. Over here! My god! What the heck? Oh! Oh! Sh shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. <gasps> no I'm way. Than I was before. 
No, wait, this is the thing that makes me cry after two episodes or an episode of not crying. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Man. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. Aww. We don't have much time to waste. Trash panda. Damn, he's got to walk a mile point two with that? With those jugs? You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. Oh, Jesus. Shit, shit. Oh, God. Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Stop. Clem. Clementine. Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. Don't tell me he's making out with our new friend Jane. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. Holy. Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, help Kenny. On it. I don't know if this is a good idea telling him to help Kenny. Kenny's on a broken man. I don't know what this is gonna do. Get out some anger management? Jesus. Clem, I, I don't think he's okay. He's losing it. I mean, that. That isn't. He's doing it to protect us. Sure. I mean, I get it, but. I don't know. Am I too close to Kenny? Am I not seeing Kenny. his destruction? Come on, man. Let's go. Am I putting the group at risk by protecting Kenny and telling them he's my friend? Jesus. That was about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what. Clementine! Yeah, I knew it. G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Uh, What's going on? They did it. Well, I knew it. Uh, I mean. In here. Let's get you comfortable. I knew it. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny. What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Oh, my God. Sure you want to help, get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. <laughs> Holy crap. Who is this guy? There are too many of them. Shit! Keep shooting! They are not getting up here! Find up to block this gate! Don't help stand us. there! We could block the gate with this! I'll help, I'm coming! Together! Ready? Shit. Holy fuck! What the fuck is going on out there? Get back! Get back! Oh, shit! Jane! Oh. Sarah, hang on! Fuck! Fuck, hurry! I can't hold on! Help me! Clem! Come on! Jane! Save Sarah! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up! It's suicide. Just pull me up. We can't leave her without even trying. Just go. 
Uh, also, I'm mad. Come on. I'm mad that she was with our man. Okay. You better do something productive. I'm trying. You have to listen to me. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not even sad. Does that mean? Like, I'm a little sad. Because she's a kid, but... I'm so sorry, Clem. I tried. I've done I nothing just... but try to... I'm not reading it yet, so I'm not cheating with the time counter ticker thingy. Um... All we've done the entire time is try to appease her dad by making him think we're friends with her and like try to keep her sheltered and try to help her, like help her with her blueberry picking, help her by lying for her. Like all we did this entire time was like try to do what's best for her. But I mean, like she was she was a lost cause. Um, Wasn't enough. I know, but I wish it could be different. Push. Oh shit. They're climbing up. What? They're can gonna we, make it up here. Can we break it off? Does this shit ever end? But we need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the Are you fucking crazy? We'll How find are a way down. Do that? I don't know. Just look around. Break the other cable. Come on. Look. That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. Come on. They're getting closer. Clementine! Move it! Come on! I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Is the baby dead? Or is she dead? The baby dead? Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. No. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? I hope she doesn't die while I hold him. No thanks. I don't think I should. It's really okay. We're family. Yeah, that's okay. Thanks. What's the matter, Clementine? You don't like babies? She doesn't have to hold him if she doesn't want to. Fair enough. Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Uh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. The new baby smell. 
It's not weird. It's a thing. I haven't had a baby, but I remember when my little sister was born. It's like it's like a new kitten or a new puppy smell. They just smell like little babies, you know. Ah oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. I understand. Good. I was worried this was going to turn into a thing. You know, Jamie. Sarah, I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you, too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'll be okay. Sure. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan... Because it always does. Remember that you can make it on your own. I appreciate it's not an option for everyone. If things start I appreciate her like gun ho, you can make it on your own, strong woman ness. Like that's great and all. But like what good is she accomplishing by roughing it out in the woods? Like how is she reading books? Is she learning new trade skills? Is she exploring the world? Like no offense, but what good what is she experiencing being alive on her own during a zombie apocalypse? Does she just like feel like a badass? On side quests? Like I I just I really just don't get it. I mean, Clem, sure you're you might be in more danger with a family and you're putting yourself at more risk, but at least you kind of still have something to care about, which is dangerous, especially if those things can get taken away from you. But I don't know. I don't know what fulfillment like she sees being this hard ass person on her own same with the chick from crawford but i guess that they both just lost someone or lost people important to them so that maybe that's just the way they ended up maybe clementine will end up that way too in the later seasons i don't know but start heading south don't let them drag you down with them yeah you don't owe them anything they'll make you feel like you do like it's all one happy family oh and push comes to shove you'll see You take care of yourself. I mean that. I know that she has good intentions. Ha, <laughs> nail file. Refuse? Jesus. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. I mean, I get it. Obviously, if they start dragging Clem down, she should leave. Because she shouldn't die for them, but there's no point in leaving now. Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? <laughs> she just left. I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Hell of a night, though. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while, you know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. We knew that she'd break your heart. That's why we didn't like her. I'm just kidding. She was she was cool. Sorry. I sorry. Just Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. You're still human. Look, I made a mistake, alright? No, it's not all right. You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and 
Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Penny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby snow? formula. That won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. I don't actually Rebecca know if that's the right choice. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. Can we have a scout team? If there's a chance there's food, she does not look good. It. <sighs> okay. Fine, if that's what you want. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the snow. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> Do people normally get sick after having babies? What's wrong with her? I mean, no offense, she did great, but like, is she okay? Because they are not going to survive up there. They don't have blankets, they don't have food, they don't have anything. They have like some water, but... She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This looked like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. You're not helping anything by arguing. Don't forget, you agreed with me last night that we should get moving as quick as possible. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, here. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. You should listen to Luke. It's Rebecca's decision. I was just trying to help. Hello? What is this? Oh, it's our Russian friend. Do you hear me? Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. He's our new Russian friend. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. All right. Hello. Your name is Clementine. Yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? 
I need uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Aruji! Nikaki Aruji! Oh my god, the accent is so bad. That's one of the funniest things about when people try to portray Russian, but like they're American. Nikaki Aruji! It's like so bad. He said no weapons, no weapons. <laughs> American actors. Nikaki Aruji. Oh, there it is. Nikaki Aruji. These are them? Yes. These are them. <laughs> so bad. Tell them to put their weapons on the ground. And then we're taking everything that, that they have. We don't want any trouble. I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane? Where's the other woman? What's happening? There were two earlier. Another one? Is this? I do not see a woman who was with you. She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. Any Prejudice. They're yes, hiding. Hey, hey. I know that they're hiding. This can be easy for you. Arvo, Skajishabani Tell them to put All the guns you, down. Just put your guns down. This will be fine. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? We need a brand new baby. They have a new newborn baby. If you know what's good for you, put the guns down. Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it. I'll do it. Drop it. Drop it. Don't fucking... Don't move. I said don't move. You want to die? She's a She's turning. No! What? What? Save Sarah the trailer park? Damn, some people really were like, screw Sarah. Robbed Arvo, 51 players refused to steal. Exactly. Crawled through the ticket booth, 46% of players volunteered to crawl through. 46% of players didn't hold the baby. 53% of players did not shoot Rebecca. Dude, what? Okay, first half of the episode was slow. We were just like looking for our friends, didn't know if we were ever going to find them. It just felt slow. I was waiting for something to happen. Then we kind of found people. We found boring Sarah had to save her life again because she sucks. And then we find these random Russians or the Russian, which was pretty cool. Things got a little bit spicier and starts giving birth. And then we have to find a place to stay. And then the Jane drama. So like the first half of the episode was quite. What? But then the second half of the episode really picked up, which I mean, like. Makes sense because the first like two episodes of the sh of the game were way too crazy, way too action packed and awesome. Episode three was all right, and then episode four was just kind of okay. Probably my least favorite one so far up until the end because that cliffhanger totally redeemed like the entire episode, at least for me. Um, so I I am now very eager to see what happens in the next episode. For next week or in the next episode if you guys are watching these in the future and they're come they're all they've already come out so yeah thank you guys for being in here i'm excited to see how the story unfolds things have changed a lot in the last couple of episodes from escaping to being out on our own and then people dying people leaving um the dynamics changing not knowing how to feel about kenny i've never been really unsure about him like that before he is kind of losing it and then with these russians my russian finally came in handy ayo um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you all in the next episode. See ya.